Hi everybody, my name is Teresa and I am here to do a movement art lesson with you today. Today we're going to learn about a Native American tribe called the Lakota Sioux and we'll learn about buffalo today and why buffalo were very important to the Lakota Sioux. We're also going to learn about some special kinds of moves. We'll learn about and do some locomotor moves and some non-locomotor moves. And then we'll also pretend that we are Lakota warriors and see if we can figure out some moves that Lakota Sioux warriors may have done. But the first thing that we have to do today is warm up so that our bodies are ready to do some movement art. So please stand up and push your chairs in. We'll stand behind our chairs with our feet together and our hands by our sides to show how we're ready to move. Okay guys, so by now you should be standing up. Your chair should be pushed in at your table. So we pushed your chair in and we should put our feet together, our hands by our sides, eyes and ears towards the screen. That's how we're ready to move. For our warm up, you can just follow along with me. So let's see over here. I'm going to just start the music. And we'll warm up. Let's start with our head. You know where your head is? Good. We'll just drop our head side to side like this gently. Starting off with some gentle moves. Now our heads are going forward and backward. Front. 
my toes are facing this direction. stretches for our warm-up and when we stretch and do moves that helps our body become more agile and agile is a special word we're going to learn a little bit more about it today but when we're agile that means that we can move quickly and easily so we'll be needing to do some moves and move quickly and easily later on but first we're going to learn about two special kinds of moves called locomotor moves. Can you say that with me? Locomotor moves and non-locomotor moves. Let's say non-locomotor, that's a lot. Ready, here we go. Non-locomotor moves, right? Those are two different kinds of moves. We'll practice doing some. Let's talk about locomotor moves first. So locomotor moves are moves that travel Thumbs up if you know about traveling. Yeah, traveling means that we go from one place to another place. And we do traveling moves all the time, right? There's lots of different kinds of traveling moves that we can do. Let's practice some together. Now, when we're traveling, we're going to stay kind of close to our chairs. And then when we stop moving, we'll stand behind our chairs again. You know what? I'm going to grab my chair. It's right here. That way you can see how I do my traveling moves too. Okay, you guys can see my chair right there, right? Okay, great. So I'm going to start behind my chair. My feet are together. My hands are by my sides. All right, let's travel. We're going to do a walking move. Remember, that's a locomotor move. So let's walk a little bit this way. We'll turn around. We'll walk a little bit this way. This is a walk. It's a locomotor move. And we'll walk. And we'll turn. And we'll walk. And we'll turn. Another locomotor move we can do is march. So we're traveling. We're going from one side to another side. Yeah, we can march this way. Another traveling move that we can do is tiptoe. Let's tiptoe. Oh, we're tiptoeing sideways. That's a traveling move because we started over there and now we're here. Now we're starting over here and we're going that way. You can't see my tiptoes. My 
my toes, but I am on my tiptoes. All right, those are locomotor moves. They're traveling moves. We know some other ones, galloping, galloping. Good, just back and forth a little bit. Galloping, good. Let's try a skip move. Skipping, good. That's another locomotor move. That's a traveling move, awesome. One more, we'll try a slide. Uh-huh, a slide. Good, let's slide again. Sliding this way and sliding this way. All right, and did we do a march? Let's do a march. I, didn't, I don't think we did a march. So we'll march. Those are all some traveling moves. Now we have even more traveling moves than that. Let's make sure we're behind our chairs again, feet together, hands by our sides. But those are all the ones that we'll do for right now. So a traveling move or a locomotor move. Say it with me, locomotor move. Those are moves that travel. But we also can do moves that don't travel. That means they stay in one place, but we're still moving, right? One is a wave. Now we're moving, but we're not going somewhere different. Let's wave with our other hand, good. That's a non-locomotor move. It doesn't travel, good. A wave, another wave, a wave, another wave. A kick is another one. Now wait for me. When we do moves like kicks, we have to just make sure that we're being very safe. We're not going to kick our chairs or our desks or our friends or anything like that. We can't do it too hard or too fast because then we could get hurt or we could hurt someone or something else, right? So let's try a kick move. Look around first. All right, let's try a kick move. Aha, uh -huh. there's nothing to the side of me so that I could, I could do a kick move. Let's try this way. Kick move, making sure not to kick our friends. If our friends were right there, maybe we could kick somewhere where our friends are not. Yep, another kick move. That's not a traveling move. It's a non-locomotive move because it doesn't go anywhere. What about a move if we were going to throw something? Throw, move, a throw move. Let's try another one. A throw move, another throw move. Uh-huh, non-locomotive moves. Uh-huh, what about a stretch? Let's stretch. Uh-huh, let's stretch this way, stretch. Mm -hmm. There are lots of different stretches we could do. Let's stretch and pull. We'll pull. That's a non-locomotor move. We could also try a twist move. Yeah, we can twist. We're twisting our torso right now. This part of our body is called our torso. Say it with me. Torso. We're doing a twist with our torso. We could turn our head and look. Turn, turn, turn. That's a non-locomotor move. It doesn't travel. You guys are doing it right with me, too. Yeah, you're doing it with me, too, right? Right. And then the last one we could try is we could tilt. Uh-huh. We're going to try a tilt move. A tilt. Uh-huh. That's not a traveling move. It's staying in one place, even though we're tilting side to side. So those are non-locomotor moves. And then we also have locomotor moves, right? And we could even do some locomotor moves and some non-locomotor moves together if we were creating a dance. I might want to do a walk move and then a wave move and a walk move and then a wave, wave move. Or I could do a skip move, do it with me, a skip move and then a twist move and then a skip move and then a twist move, yeah, or a slide move, and a, a turn move with my head, slide move, and I turn my head. So we can do lots of moves that travel around or that stay in one place. But now it's time to do a move where we sit back at our tables, show our eyes and ears to the screen, because we're going to learn a little bit about the Lakota Sioux and the Buffalo. Okay, so let's learn some about the Lakota Sioux and we'll also take a look at some pictures while we're talking about the Lakota. So Lakota Sioux are a tribe of Native Americans and the Lakota Sioux lived in the Great Plains area. Here's a picture of North America and you 
you can see that area is the Great Plains. We'll take another look at the Great Plains. So um, the Lakotas who lived in the Great Plains and we're going to learn about their relationship with buffalo. Do you guys know about buffalo? So buffalo are animals and they are big and strong. They're bigger and stronger than most horses. And they were very important to the Lakota people. And they would, they called the buffalo sacred. And sacred means that the, the buffalo were very special to them. And the reason they were very special to them is the Lakota needed the buffalo for their food and their clothing and their shelter. So the buffalo actually helped the Lakota people live and survive. The Lakota warriors, those are people that are good fighters and they're experienced in, in battle. They would hunt buffalo and they would ride horses that were galloping. We did some galloping earlier. They would gallop and use bows and arrows and spears and get really close to the buffalo in order to hunt them. This is a picture of Sitting Bull. He was the chief of all Lakota tribes at one point and he killed his first buffalo at age 10 when he was only 10 years old. Now the warriors had to train for a, a long time and only people that were very fast and very agile, oh we talked about that word before, where only those people were, uh, were able to be the, the warriors that would go and hunt the buffalo and only the horses that were the bravest and the most courageous were able to go and hunt the buffalo too. So when the, the warriors would hunt the buffalo, they only killed as many buffalo as they needed. Okay, because they thought the buffalo were sacred. It was, they were very important to the Lakota people and the Lakota people, they respected the buffalo. So they didn't just go and kill as many buffalo as they can. They only killed what they needed to survive and they would share what they had with other people. Sharing was very important to the Lakota people. So they, they believe in sharing and giving to others. They used buffalo for many different things. They used it for food. So they would take the buffalo meat and make a stew. So they would use the, the buffalo wood would be their food and that was important because food helps them stay alive we need food to survive right we do so buffalo was food for the lakota sioux they would also use the buffalo to make their clothing so they would make shoes called moccasins they were very soft leather shoes and they would also make um, shirts and pants and then the clothing that they had was very important too because people need clothing because it keeps them warm and dry, right? They would also use buffalo hide, the buffalo skin, for their teepees. So a teepee is a special kind of home or a shelter that the Lakota Sioux lived in. So over the top of the teepees, the, that was buffalo hide, buffalo skin that was sewn together. And that was important for the Lakota Sioux because it would help them keep, stay safe from weather and from wild animals too. They even used a part of the buffalo's muscle for bows and arrows. So they used the buffalo for tools uh, for bows and arrows. They also used buffalo hide for drums and rattles and buckets and cups and bowls. The Lakota people got almost everything they needed from buffalo. They used the buffalo's bone and horns for knives. 
and arrowheads, and they even use buffalo to make toys. So buff that's why the buffalo is very sacred to the Lakota people, because they needed the buffalo to survive and to be able to live. So before they would go and hunt buffalo, they would say special prayers um, for, for the buffalo, and they would always be respectful toward the buffalo too. So now what we're going to do is we're going to think about some, some things that a a warrior, a Lakota Sioux warrior who, who hunted buffalo, what kind of moves they might have done. We'll try out, and we'll use our imagination, we'll try out some locomotor moves and some non-locomotor moves and think about the kinds of moves that they might have done on a buffalo hunt. So it's time to stand up and move again. Let's see if you remember how to stand up. Push your chair back into your table. Stand behind your chair with your feet together, hands by your sides, eyes and ears this way. Okay guys, so we're standing up and we're ready to do some Lakota Sioux warrior moves. Now, I'm not a Lakota Sioux warrior, but I can use my imagination and some things that I learned about the Lakota Sioux to try to figure out some moves that might be like something that they have done or it could at least just show what they used to do when they were training to hunt the buffalo and when they were hunting buffalo. So let's use our imaginations and pretend and we'll do some moves together, okay? So when the Lakota Sioux boys would train to become warriors, they would have to practice a lot and train a lot so that they could be ready to hunt buffalo. And one way that they practiced is that they would roll these big hoops down a hill and the, the hoops would go fast and roll really very fast and then they would use spears and throw the spears to try to hit inside of the hoop so that they were practicing their aim and practicing hitting the buffalo with the spears. So let's try, let's see if we could do a non-locomotor move and we'll, hold, we'll pretend like we're using these big, these holding these big hoops and we'll roll them and roll them. Oh, that's kind of like throwing them, right? We imagine rolling them and letting them go. Okay, so that's a non-locomotor move. It doesn't travel. Let's think about sending our hoops down. Uh-huh, and then we'll grab our spear Mm -hmm. and we'll imaginary spear, right? We're pretending and we're going to throw our spear and try to hit the hoop. So let's try to roll our hoops. So we'll roll the hoops, we'll roll the hoops, grab your spear and throw. Good, let's try it again. Here we go. We'll roll the hoop, we'll roll the hoop, we'll grab our spear and throw. Okay, very good. So another thing that they might need to do is to aim, right? So you have to really use your eyes to look. Uh -huh. So let's think about using our eyes to look, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that with a traveling move. We'll use a gallop, right? So let's say if a buffalo was going side to side, you might be, the, Lakota, the Sioux might be on a horse when they're doing it, but we don't have a horse, so we're going to gallop with our feet, okay? So let's gallop, and we'll, we'll gallop to the side like we're looking to see. Yep. Some buffalo will gallop to the side this way too. I think horses only gallop front and back, so maybe we can gallop forward like we're holding the reins to a horse, and we'll gallop oh, this way. Okay, so let's think about galloping side. So that's a traveling move is a gallop. We'll gallop forward, gallop forward. Okay, so let's try some moves again. We'll do our hoops, right? Rolling a hoop, rolling a hoop, grab your spear and throw. Good, now we're gonna look for those buffalo. We're gonna gallop one side, gallop side to side, and we'll gallop forward and gallop forward. Good, let's come stand behind your chair again. Okay, another thing that they would do when they were hunting buffalo is that they would shoot 
the buffalo with bows and arrows. So I don't have any bows and arrows, but I can pretend that I do. So I'm gonna grab the bow with this hand. You guys are doing this with me too, right? Let's grab our bow with this hand. Uh-huh, and we're going to take our arrow and pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. We might want to aim, we might want to look, and then we're going to let it go. There goes our arrow. Okay, let's try the other side. So we'll grab our bow and we pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, so is that a locomotor move that travels? Or a non-locomotor move that doesn't travel? That's a non-locomotor move. So, so they would aim at the buffalo. So we're gonna pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, and shoot. Other side, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, and shoot. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Let's try all of those moves that we've done so far. So we know the training, they use hoops. We're gonna roll a hoop, roll a hoop, Grab your spear and throw. And we'll gallop to look, gallop to look, gallop on our horses one way, gallop on our horses the other way. We're gonna grab our bow, we'll pull it back and shoot. Good, other side, grab our bow, pull it back and shoot. Very good, okay, we have lots of warrior moves. So thumbs up if you're feeling agile like a warrior, like you can move quickly and easily. I'm feeling pretty agile this morning too. Great job. So the last move that we're going to do is we are going to say thank you to the buffalo because we know the Lakota Sioux were very grateful to have the buffalo and they they thought, their, they thought their buffalo was sacred. It was important to them. So remember we said that they would say a special prayer whenever they hunted the buffalo. So we have a special way to be respectful and say thank you in movement art too. And that's by taking a bow. That's a way to show respect also. So maybe we can put our hands together and we'll take a bow to show respect for the buffalo and respect for each other for doing a dance together because we kind of just made up a dance. Let's try it one more time together and then we're going to try it with some music. So this time I'll talk to you and tell you about how to do it but next time I won't use my voice. I'll just do the movement with my body and you do the movement with your body too and we'll use music. Okay, so here we go in neutral behind our chairs. We're ready. And we'll roll our hoop, roll our hoop, grab our spear, and throw. And we're gonna look, and we're galloping, and we're galloping, and we're galloping. Good. Grab your bow and arrow, pull it back, and shoot. Good. Other side. Grab your bow and arrow, pull it back, Shoot. Good. Now we'll put our hands together and we'll show our respect. We've got it. Let's try it with some music. Okay, here we go.
you for joining me today. I hope you had fun learning about the Lakota Sioux and the buffalo and doing some locomotor and non-locomotor moves and pretending to be a Lakota Sioux warrior and buffalo hunter. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.